So we have an update for the Canadian protest groups. One of the leaders that was kicked out of the convoy camp protest is now trying to fundraise to possibly rent a property for, uh, I guess the plan is for his freedom fighters to organize in Ottawa. He doesn't have the money for it, but he did basically a dream tour like, ooh, we could have this room for this and this room for that. He doesn't have people, but he seems to want money. Um, the plan for the camp seems to be shifting somewhat. Um, now there's talk of saying instead of joining the camp, you should just visit the camp and then say you agree. Also, there's talk now of the main leader trying to travel and leave the camp and like have like a satellite camp. It seems really weird. Um, we also got a holiday update for the main leader and he was obviously not in the camp. There's so much coughing multiple times, can't seem to stop in the video. So after all that bragging about how great camp is and people should visit, he left the camp to go visit his girlfriend's family. So I guess they aren't interested in this whole camp freedom fighter nonsense stuff going on. But he does say he'll be back to the camp and you should come too. Now, while the plan is that you shouldn't have to stay at the camp now, that's something they've said that you can just visit, it sounds like the homeless work camp plan is still ongoing, so they're going to try to, essentially from the way it sounds, staff the camp with homeless people, have them work for food, and also use them in their protests. Like, these are open plans they've had. He claims now that there's research of things to come in 2024, and the people of Canada aren't gonna like it. Except, you know... They always have a new conspiracy, and they always do try to fit in truckers into it because they're trying to recapture that spark of the original Freedom Convoy. Um, remember, the same group tried to claim that the country was going to collapse earlier in 2023 at one point. It's always the same nonsense on repeat with a new coat of paint. Now, the leader made something very clear. What they do will be lawful, always lawful. Of note, the same exact leader is currently going still through his trial in Ottawa because he didn't do everything lawfully. So we can expect the camp to last at least until then, but it does sound like the the post-Christmas, post-trial uh, evacuation plan is being set, and then maybe instead of them being there, the Freedom Fighters being in the camp, doing the work they promised the landowner to stay there, it kind of sounds like they're trying to have homeless people do it and have them. It, it's a whole mess. Like, I don't know how anyone hears about this and decides, yeah, uh, I can't wait to, like, join this group. It just, it's it's really getting bad. It's really getting bad. I mean, all the leaders are talking about their exit plans while they're acting like they aren't. But, I mean, if they were really, they want you to commit more than they themselves are willing to commit to the movement. 